Many couples disagree about how much to spend and how much to save. Chris and Jillian work together to reduce their spending and together working as a couple, they paid down more than $7,000 worth of debt. Since we've been in the program, we've eliminated almost everything that we had to pay for, um, from our furnishings to our, our new daughter. Um, <laughs> the end of the month is a lot less stressful. Uh, it's, it's not easy keeping track of your budget. They are a very common couple where they had a little bit of furniture debt, a little bit of credit card debt, uh, some medical debt, none of it huge, but it all piles up and it becomes a real stress. Eventually, we work through some numbers and eventually I can turn a piece of paper around and say, here's where we're at. And solid numbers will sometimes break that moment of denial. We all feel like we need so much money to be happy and it's. It's not the case, like, buy the things you need and you'll be okay, <laughs> you know? I felt like we kept trying to overbuy to, to, to buy some, buy what? Buy our happiness, it just seems ridiculous. So I think it's just to know that you're not, you're not alone if you don't have money, like, or you can't figure out or you're over your head. There's plenty of us out there. <laughs> Typically, we meet with people at least two or three appointments, and then there's ongoing where we would check in every few months because after a couple appointments, we kind of get a plan in place. So we work through a budget, and our, our budget is pretty detailed. How much for lunches, how much for going out for dinner, how much for sh personal products, it gets very detailed. We try to make it really clear, we're not here to judge you. Life happens, really, you know. We, I try to make that really clear, life happens good or bad, or if you made a bad decision, life happens, and here you are now. I'm so glad you called and came in. But yeah, they fairly often are in a pretty bad spot. It makes my day when someone says, I was, I was scared to come in because I was, in a, I was afraid you were going to criticize me or judge me. And at the end of the conversation, they say, I'm so glad I came in. I finally have some hope. It's not going away today, but they feel hope and they thought it was insurmountable and feel that maybe I can make a change and maybe this thing is going to get off my back eventually. So come on in and let's get started. If you would like to talk more easily about money and move forward as a couple, I would ask you to call Fisk today.